What if one small act could change the world? Throughout the world, there are major issues impacting the health and wellness of nearly every community from every background. Two of the most challenging, yet preventable, are malaria and HIV AIDS. In one day, more than 2,000 lives are lost to malaria and HIV AIDS. The greatest population affected is women and children. While malaria has been wiped out in the United States for more than 30 years, it is still rampant in other parts of the world, most notably Sub-Saharan Africa, where contracting malaria can be a death sentence for many. In 2015, an estimated 292,000 African children died before their fifth birthday due to malaria. At the beginning of 2016, approximately 37 million people around the world were living with HIV or AIDS. Nearly half of all AIDS patients are women. And each day, 700 babies are born HIV positive. Mother-to-child transmission of HIV can be reduced to below 5% when women have access to testing, counseling, and treatment, but access is often difficult. Both of these challenges seem vast, and some would say impossible to tackle all at once. Our God is able, more than able. But the people of the United Methodist Church have answered the call to address each. Due to the work of Imagine No Malaria, deaths have been reduced from one person every 60 seconds to one person every two minutes, proving once again malaria is preventable, treatable, and beatable. Globally, there were approximately 36.7 million people living with HIV at the end of 2015. How do you change the world? Start with small acts of obedience each day. One small act, such as a gift of $10, is all it takes to save a life. Just imagine how many lives we can save together through our Indiana Miracle Offering for Global Health, benefiting the Imagine No Malaria Initiative and the United Methodist Global AIDS Fund, because every person deserves to live and thrive to reach their God-given potential. Together, we can make a world of difference. What would it mean for us as Indiana to commit to saving 100,000 lives, maybe more than 100,000 lives? The Miracle Offering for Global Health will address two major pandemic health issues, deaths due to malaria and HIV and AIDS. We've been part of the Nothing But Nets campaign, which began many years ago. Now we can be part of helping the United Methodist Church reach its goal of raising $75 million to address malaria and continue its goal to address the global AIDS pandemic. Let's celebrate as we are committed to not only giving money, but also bringing education, reducing stigma, and being part of what it means to bring health throughout the world. <laughs> <laughs>